This year's FIFA World Cup had its fair share of thrills and spills. People all over the world witnessed a nail-biting match between France and Argentina at the Luzel Stadium as Messi lifted the coveted trophy to seal the latter's win at the FIFA World Cup 2022 final. This year's football match has not only been entertaining but also ensured a lifetime experience to watch some extraordinary group of players deliver an exemplary performance with the ball. Needless to say that this fun, entertaining match served as an essential guide for those looking to equate everything in life with goals including managing their finances. Football and investing both involve strategy, risk-taking, and the ability to adapt to changing circumstances. In this blog, we'll delve deeper into these similarities and explore some of the ways in which these two activities can inform one another. One of the most fundamental similarities between football and investing is the need for a long-term strategy. In football, coaches and players need to have a plan for how they will approach each game, taking into account the strengths and weaknesses of their opponents as well as their own team. This might involve identifying key players on the opposing team and devising a strategy to neutralize their impact, or focusing on building a strong defense to prevent the other team from scoring. Similarly, investors need to have a long-term strategy for their portfolio, considering factors such as their risk tolerance, time horizon, and financial goals. This might involve diversifying their portfolio by investing in a variety of asset classes in order to spread risk or focusing on a specific sector or industry in which they have expertise. Both football and investing also involve risk-taking. In football, coaches and players need to be willing to take calculated risks in order to gain an advantage over their opponents. This might involve trying an unconventional play or taking a chance on a new player. In investing, risk-taking is also an important aspect, as investors need to be willing to take on some level of risk in order to potentially achieve higher returns. However, it's important for both football coaches and investors to carefully consider the risks they are taking and to ensure that they are not exposing themselves to unnecessary risk. In football, it's important for coaches and players to be able to adapt to changing circumstances on the field. This might involve adjusting their strategy in response to injuries, fouls, or other unexpected events. Similarly, Investors need to be able to adapt their portfolio in response to changes in the market or in their own personal circumstances. This might involve selling off certain investments and buying others in order to better align with their long-term strategy. Another important aspect of both football and investing is the ability to learn from past mistakes and make adjustments accordingly. In football, coaches and players can analyze their performance and identify areas for improvement in order to increase their chances of success in future games. Investors can also learn from their past mistakes and use this knowledge to inform their future investment decisions. In conclusion, football and investing share many similarities, including the need for a long-term strategy, the importance of risk-taking, and the ability to adapt to changing circumstances. By considering these commonalities, both football coaches and investors can learn from each other and potentially improve their own performance. Whether on the field or in the financial markets, success often requires careful planning, calculated risk-taking, and the ability to adapt to changing circumstances. Here are some key similarities between football and investing. Both require a long-term strategy. In football, coaches and players need to have a plan for how they will approach each game, considering the strengths and weaknesses of their opponents as well as their own team. Similarly, investors need to have a long-term strategy for their portfolio, considering factors such as their risk tolerance, time horizon, and financial goals. Both involve risk-taking. In football, coaches and players need to be willing to take calculated risks in order to gain an advantage over their opponents. In investing, risk-taking is also an important aspect, as investors need to be willing to take on some level of risk in order to potentially achieve higher returns. Both require the ability to adapt to changing circumstances. In football, teams need to be able to adjust their strategy mid-game in response to what is happening on the field. Similarly, investors need to be able to adapt their portfolio in response to changes in the market or in their own personal circumstances. Both involve the ability to learn from past mistakes and make adjustments. In football, coaches and players can analyze their performance and identify areas for improvement in order to increase their chances of success. In future games, investors can also learn from their past mistakes and use this knowledge to inform their future investment decisions. Both require careful planning and decision making, 
whether it's deciding which plays to run on the field or which investments to make, both football coaches and investors need to be able to carefully consider their options and make informed decisions. Few facts on the FIFA World Cup 2022 The 2022 FIFA World Cup will be held in Qatar, making it the first time that the event has been held in the Middle East. Here are some key facts about the tournament. Dates, the tournament will be held from November 21st to December 18th, 2022. Teams, a total of 32 teams will participate in the tournament, representing all six FIFA confederations. Host country, Qatar is a small, oil-rich nation located in the Middle East, with a population of around 2.8 million people. Controversies, the decision to award the World Cup to Qatar has been met with controversy, with accusations of corruption and concerns about the treatment of migrant workers, involved in the construction of World Cup-related infrastructure. There have also been concerns about the high summer temperatures in Qatar and the impact on players and fans. Infrastructure, Qatar has invested heavily in infrastructure projects related to the World Cup, including the construction of new stadiums and the expansion of the country's transportation network. Legacy, Qatar has stated that one of the main goals of hosting the World Cup is to leave a lasting legacy for the country, including the development of a thriving football culture and the promotion of sports as a means of social and economic development. Do share your comments below on FIFA World Cup 2022 held in Qatar.